No. You know, we tried that, but yeah. it, like, the first thing I got, it puts the movie button in the middle of the screen. Ah. So I think our first thing is that recorded. You know he's a guitar player, right? Guitar player? Yeah.
that flashlight is on. Did you bring my water bottle? Okay. All right, Dad. Here we go. Season. Oh, you're not ready yet. Kind of gotta start. Okay. Shaker Hunts Varsity Hockey fans and welcome here to the Hamilton Ice Arena. We are here in Rocky River, Ohio for the very first tournament game of the Red Raiders season. Playing the Bengals of Benedictine High School. The Tim Alexander Memorial Tournament named after the former Rocky River teacher and head coach is an interesting tournament. Per players, it's more of a showcase because I don't believe there is an exact winner of the tournament. It's just a round robin type of ordeal. I will get more information as that moves along. But this tournament includes schools over a large northeast area, such as Erie Cathedral Prep in Pennsylvania, Canton Akron, and then of course the host of this tournament, Rocky River. But to turn to Benedictine, the opponents of today's opening game, the Bengals, placed 31st in the Ohio State rankings last season. They went 15-13-1 throughout that season. Shaker, on the other hand, was 18th in the state, holding an 11-19-5 record. That losing record just holds more respect due to the season's difficult schedule. But as we begin the season, it is a good time to get you familiar with the new squad of players. Today, the lines are going to look like this. The first forward line, it's going to be Sammy Gerber. You know him, you love him. Connor Mayhew and Will Brokaw. That second line consists of Joey Moore, Ryan Lenahan, and Colin Arth, the freshman. The third line will be Sebi Juan, Ryan Kiltz, and Eamon Salmon. And two other forwards that will be mixed around throughout the season are Lowell Rich, number seven, and number 25, Ian Schneiberg. On defense, that first line is going to be Quentin Garnett, and Cole Richard, that second line is going to be Ian Hunter and Jonathan Kalurgis, two seniors making up the second line. And the third will be two juniors, Andy Benincasa and Braden White. Now in between the pipes today it will be Michael Better, the junior getting the start. Backing him up is going to be Nico Daenerys. Elliot Thome is out there as well if need be. This team is getting a new look after many many seniors of last year have graduated this new varsity roster includes eight seniors nine juniors only one sophomore and then five freshmen that one lone sophomore is connor mayhew and he will be getting the start on that first line he's going to be the center and he can hopefully lead this team even though he's the youngster so it will be interesting to see how head coach Matt Bartley is going to mix these players around. We'll see if he sticks to these lines throughout the game. Throughout last season, he would just mix his lines as he felt necessary throughout the game. A lot of mixing and matching. And that's when you can respect a coach that is willing to take risks. But with that said, it should be all said and done for the first intro of the season we are getting set for this one it's going to be shaker heights versus the benedictine Bengals to start the run of the tim alexander memorial tournament my name is von ullum here to commentate another fun hockey season for you it'll all start with puck drop that is coming in just a moment your lovely red raiders wearing their white jerseys red caps and red pants it's a good old classic uniform benedictine going with their all dark navy blue and a bit of baby blue accents it's a nice little look for the catholic school both teams 
taking their final round of shots. I don't believe we are having a national anthem since this is a tournament. I could be wrong, but I believe that is Only one tournament game so far. That happened just before this game. That was Team Ohio playing Rocky River, the hopes of the tournament. And Team Ohio decimated those Pirates. It was five to nothing the final. And who knows, Team Ohio might be looking to make a three and oh run for this tournament over the weekend. So the Red Raiders gonna huddle around their net as they always do before puck drop. The team chatting things over before we get started. It's just the players talking it over. Hopefully getting amped for this season open. A lot on the line here. Big new squad, new leaders, and it's going to be interesting how they approach this one. Whether they're more defensive, whether they go for the attack quickly. We shall see. 15 minutes up on the clock, symbolizing this start of the very first period. Once again, it's going to be Michael Better between the pipes. Cooper Mears was the starter last year. He has since graduated. He also got the single season record for most saves in a season. And he just really carried throughout that season. So here it looks like they're going to start with line two. Which means it's going to be Ryan Lenahan getting the start at the faceoff dot number 26. To his left, it's going to be Joey Moore. To his right, it's going to be Arth. The defenders are going to be Kalurgis and Garnett. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Vaughn Ullum. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting season of Red Raider Aki. This one taken into the Benedictine area. Pass out in front. Lenahan almost got a chance early. Shaker trying to lay down some goals early in this one, clearly enough. Lenahan takes a man down in the corner to the right of the goalie. Lenahan to the point, it goes to Garnett. Garnett will take a shot. It's only sent into the corner this time. It's to the left of the goalie in navy blue. Joey Moore at the point trying to keep it in. He will with a kick of the skate. But now it'll be in Benedictine control. Here goes Richard stealing the puck in the offensive zone. It'll go back to the Red Raiders. Or trying to stick with it, can he? Not just yet. Joey Moore tracking it down. He's going to have to hop off soon enough. And now it's all in Benedictine control. They'll send it down the ice. It'll be a dump and chase. Ian Hunter back there with the team. And now whistle blow as it looks as though there's a quick penalty. It's gonna be on number 97, or excuse me. We're awaiting the call. Looks as though it's gonna be on Shaker. Uh-oh, it's Joey Moore. It's gonna be called an interference. Throughout that one scrimmage game, in early November, it was Joey getting a penalty in that scrimmage for again another interference. So he's just got to work on that throughout that season. Up the boards it goes. Number 19 of the Red Raiders tracking it down. That's Sebi Juan. Juan, the one man tracking down the bangle forward. And now it's stolen by number 13, Will Brokaw. He's got it with Juan. Shot made. Good save by the goalie, number 34. Holy cow. Good glove save, flash in the leather. 13-24 left to go in period number one. Thank you once again for tuning in. We are just getting started. Not just in this game, we're getting started for the season. This will be set. This will be setting the tone. Picked. By Brokaw, shot made once again. Another great save with the glove. The left hand 
of number 34 is saving his team early. A lot of short-handed chances created by Brokaw. And it'll still be him and Juan, the two forwards, during this Benedictine power play. Brokaw going to skate this one all the way back to the Red Raider zone. And off the boards, he clears it right back to the Benedictine zone. Now here come the men in Navy, the Bengals. Number 12, skating it into his own zone. Good shot, blocker save, or excuse me, pad save by Michael Better. And it's back into the corner to the right of Better. Will it be Brokaw? It will be. He's taking it up himself. It's him against two defenders. Sticking with it, can he? Moves back to his forehand, and he can't get a shot off. He'll hop off for a change. Lenahan, the lone forward, tracking down the puck in the Benedictine zone. Benedictine pass all the way down the ice. That'll be out of range of any Bengals, and that will be an icing. And that's never what you like to see if you are a Bengal player in this one. Just under half a minute left to go in this penalty. Joey Moore heading out of the box soon enough. Keep in mind, he was called for the interference as the first penalty of the Red Raiders season last year. Meeting the penalties was Quentin Garnett. Here's a shot, it goes wide. Right now, it's that third line of defense, Ben and Casa and White. Here's a shot. Good save by Better. Oh, rebound given up. Is it still with the Bengals? Yes, it is, but the pass back will be off target and all the way back to the Bengals zone it goes. Number five with it now. Pass to the boards to 45. It's out of his reach. Icing is waved off. The Red Raiders have it in their possession, and they control this possession. Shot out in front. The defensive line is still white, and Ben Costa, the forward line for the moment, is going to be Lenahan. Mayhew and Rich. In the neutral zone, bad pass to the men in Navy, but the Bengals going to stick with it. Now that dump and chase attempt not going to work out in succession as it's going to be Quentin Garnett controlling the puck from here. Pass off the boards, here it goes to Salmon. Salmon entering into the zone. Now stick with it against number five. And a four. Shot made by Kiltz. That one good save with the pad. Good kick save. Garnett sends it around the boards to Kiltz. Remains behind the net now into the corner. Angles now control the puck, but they are struggling to get it out of their zone. Pickpocketed by Salmon. Salmon looking for a pass up the middle. That's not going to work. Now it's Richard. Shot made, and it's blocked by four. Good diving block attempt. By number five. Back into the Bengal zone it goes. Can they clear it is the real question. Here's a pass out in front. Kiltz pulls the trigger, but it's off target. To the neutral zone. It's Hunter and it's Kalurgis. Now a pass to no one as Rich is heading off the ice. Don't know if he knew that was coming for him. Juan and Kiltz. This should be a delayed penalty on the Bengals, and that it will be. It'll be a tripping call with exactly 10 minutes to go in this first period. We'll see who gets called on it. It's going to be number 17 of the men in blue. And the first offensive line is going to be Lenahan, Moore, and Mayhew, two juniors and a sophomore. Brokaw's out there as well. Garnett, the lone defenseman. This one cleared out of the zone quickly. Brokaw going to track it down back in their own zone. Now he controls the puck. He'll move it forward. Cross ice pass. It's over to Mayhew. Mayhew dumps it in for more to chase. Jager looking to pickpocket this Bengals offense. Pass out in front. The shot goes wide. Moore sticking with it. Now here's the Red Raider. Time to set up. Garnett along the blue line. Shot made. It's tipped. And it'll go wide. Lenahan back with it now. Now pass back to him out in front. That's not going to work, and it's clear. 
9.15 left to go in period number one. Thanks for sticking in with us here in the afternoon puck drop game here in Rocky River. It's Shaker versus Benedicti. No score so far. Quentin Garnett takes in the puck and off the backhand, he'll wrap it around the board. And now here's a chance. Right here, right now. Brokaw. Rebound given up. It's still in front. He's going to have good eye on the puck. Where is it? The goalie will freeze it. Ooh, that one got a little tense. Six shots for the Red Raiders so far, only two for the Bengals, so things are looking good in the shot department. It's going to be Kiltz taking the face off in the Benedictine zone. Here it's with Arth, shot goes wide. Back to the point, it's with Hunter, shot is wide. Back to Arth. Arth sending it around the boards. Now Benedictine going to clear this one out. Ian Hunter going all the way back to chase it. Juan Kiltz. Juan Kiltz and Arth make up the forward line on defense. It's Kalurgis. And it is Hunter. Hunter injured all last season, but he's back. This year, he got injured, I believe, around that Bowling Green tournament of last year. There, the clearing attempt blocked by the referee. That is a tough break for the Bengals. But now, oh, here's a 2-1-2 two -two rush. Advantage Bengals. Good defensive play by Hunter to get it away. We're back to even strength as number 17 heads out of the box. 7.50 left to go in period number one. We're still scoreless. Shaker trying to clear it out of the zone. They can't do it just yet. It's Kalurgis. Up the boards, ooh, big hit laid down, but now here it is with Kiltz. Shot made, and it goes, ooh. Looks like Kiltz scored. First goal of the season. There you go, number four. Ooh, didn't get a good look at the shot, but there you go, it's Ryan Kiltz, number four, to start off the scoring sheet on the season. The junior just slides it in on that left side. There you go. Nine, or excuse me, 7.36 left to go in period number one. Excuse me, my stat man was confusing me with his signals. So one nothing is our score. With the Ryan Kiltz goal here, pass out front. Shaker quickly trying to make it a two goal game if they can. Richard to Lenahan, Lenahan. We'll work around the blue line. Now he'll pull the trigger. And it was blocked out in front. Now more with a rebound try. Nothing doing. Schneider, Lenahan, and Moore out there on the offensive line. Now here, shot, rebound in front. And Shaker scores again. That time it was Lenahan, number 26. The pair of juniors strike for the first two goals. There you go, that's a way to start your season. So far, crowding the net has been the strategy that is working. Kilt strikes for the first, Lenahan strikes for the second, it's two nothing our score. Brokaw, big hit late in the neutral zone. He'll get back up and join the play in the offensive zone. Now here it's Benedictine, trying to clear it out. So far they are struggling. Benincasa trips, so it's gonna be Braden White Carrying puck possession in the neutral zone. Now it's up to Gerber. Gerber, so far, not getting too many minutes, but perhaps resting a little bit more against the Bengals as we begin the season. Here, shot by Ben and Gasse goes wide. Brokaw trying to send it out in front. Nothing doing. It's pickpocketed by the men in Navy. But good Lord. The men in Navy just cannot seem to clear their zone. And Shaker is really laying the shots back. Shaker back with it. Pass out the front. Oh, Brady White can't keep it in. He will maintain the puck control. Jump and shake for the Red Raiders. Now it's going to be a jump and line change. They got to be speedy with it. Now it's all Benedictine.
because there it was offsides. Coach was yelling for mercy, then he would, and he was offsides, but the player just wasn't comprehending it, I suppose, and he got this offside. The faceoff is up coming all the way into the Bengals zone. 539 left to go in period number one. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Nolan. It was a great season for you already. It's a team goal game. Your Red Raiders are on top. Face off. One back to Kalergis. It goes Hunter with the shot and it goes wide. It'll work its way back to Kalergis. Kalergis looking to go to Moore, but Moore. Can he get that puck possession back? No, he cannot, but it will bounce to Kalergis. One hand out in front. Backhand try. Is the net open? Not just yet. Goalie trying to make his position once again. Shaker really just with all the momentum at the moment. Lenahan is pickpocketed and Benedictine will clear. To Ian Hunter off the board. To Art. Art cannot stick with it. The freshman pickpocketed. 97 of Benedictine. He's pickpocketed. It's really just been a Puck possession battle whenever it goes into the Red Raiders zone. Now here's Lenahan, he's got one already. Swan joins the play, but he's just too late as it's poked out of the zone. To the neutral zone it goes and out to Red Raider territory. Now it's Quentin Garnett, pickpocketed, he needs to clear. It's him against number 18, 17 versus 18. And right now it's in Benedictine control. It goes to Garnett now. And outside of the zone, carried by Juan, he'll dump it in. To the Red Raider offensive zone, it's Juan. It's Salmon. And the other forward at the moment is Kiltz. He's got a goal already. Kiltz and Lenahan, the two goal scorers here, a pass to center it, and that will just not do. Now this pass all the way to Salmon will be out of his reach after a poke and the puck will fly up and into the netting. Three fifty-one left to go in period number one. It's a two-nothing game with Shaker on top early in this one. Sammy Gerber to take the face off. To his right it's Schneider, to his left it's Brokaw. So far, head coach Matt Bartley has been abandoning his line pair. Brokaw behind the boards. He's bumped off the puck and not able to keep it in his braid and white as it's cleared. Now pass right to number six of the Bengals. It'll be a delayed offside. They'll touch up. And now they're going to go pass by Benincasa right to the Bengal. In the offensive zone, and my goodness, that was almost dangerous. 3.20 left to go in period number one. The Bengals sticking with it for the moment. So far, their shot numbers not going their way. Can Shaker finally clear it? Yes, they can. The pass, cross ice to Gerber. Gerber, looking to Schneider. It's out of his reach. It's off the skate of a bangle. And now it looks like we might have a penalty upcoming. And it is on Benedictine. Oh, excuse me. It's on both sides. penalty on Benedictine, one on Shaker. The man called for Shaker was Sammy Gerber. It looks like it's only going to be a five on five. No four on four action just yet. Do not worry. Coming out of the faceoff is number 97 of Benedictine. Shot made, but that goes very much wide. trying to stick with it. He's pickpocketed by number 97. Number 97, clearly the more physical player of the men in Navy. Here's a pass all the way down the ice, and it's with Mayhew. Mayhew, the left-handed sophomore, and he falls down to the ice. He can't stick with it. Now it looks like we've got a penalty, and this one should be on Shaker. Benedictine controlling it. It's number 47. Shot made, and a good extension by Better. Another shot. This one just taken in. 
by number 97, and though Hunter didn't exactly have control, the referee blows it anyway. With 2.14 left to go in this first period, it's going to be a penalty on Joey Moore. That's already his second, and it's for elbowing. Joey Moore already needing to control his temper a bit, perhaps. Is that's already a second penalty. Hopefully this isn't something that'll cost the team down the road. Because this could become disciplinary by the coach, which is never something you're going to want to see. You want to play a fair game. Quinton Garnett sending it around the board. Once again, he was the leader of penalties last season. By a larger margin this year as the captain, he's looking to change up that narrative. For now, it's five on four hockey. 100 seconds left to go for Benedicti to throw up their first goal of the game. There we go, glove saved by Michael Better. Flashing the leather once again, that's what you love to see. From the junior, getting a start here today. Brokaw taking the face off to the right of the goalie better. It's Brokaw and Mayhew, the two forwards at the moment there. Puck is frozen by goalie Michael Better. Two men on defense, Cole Richard and Quentin Garnett. Face off one by Benedictine. Here, pass from point to point. It's 44. Back to the other point to five. They're just playing catch and toss with each other, and it gets pickpocketed. It's Brokaw and it's Mayhew. Brokaw. Send it to Mayhew, and it's just out of his reach. It was a two-on-one, but the pass just couldn't get to Mayhew. Close chance right there for the Red Raiders, and they're a close chance for number 12 to cut this deficit in half. Now it's Brokaw. Breakaway chance. Goes to the backhand. Good save by the Benedictine goalie. Oh, my goodness. Mayhew with the rebound, and it won't go. Holy. Now there a pass to Brokaw. He didn't see it coming to him. He would have had a wide shot. Just didn't go his way. Just under a minute left to go in this first period of play. Benedictine has control behind their own net. As right here, it's number 12. He has been out there for a minute now. But he's the lone man rushing his way into his offensive zone. Good steal by Lenahan. 15 seconds left to go on the Benedictine power play. Now Lenahan trying to get a bit too fancy. Perhaps looking for a toe drag just doesn't work out. The Bengals moving it up. Dying seconds of the power play and now it has expired. Shaker back to even strength with the Bengals. Now here Lenahan. Lenahan trying to get a final shot off if they can in the dying seconds. Here it's Kalurgis. He'll take an easy shot. And the whistle is blown right as time expires. And they're just going to call this one for the end of the first period. We should be getting our ice cuts before, or maybe we are not getting our ice cut. We might just be hopping back into it. No intermission. believe then it would be an ice cut between the second and third period. We see this during plenty of intermissions where the ice cuts are scheduled during one specific intermission. And seeing as how it doesn't seem it'll be the first intermission, it'll probably be the second. 15 minutes are back on the clock. So it looks like we'll just hop back into the action. 2.32, or excuse me, 2.30 is the time, just half an hour on the period. And so far, let's give you the stats as we begin this first, or excuse me, this second period of action. So the shot totals 12 to 5, Shaker on top. Yeah, 12 to 5 is our total, Shaker on top, excuse me. Had someone ask me for the shot, so I just repeated that again. Um, the face-off total, Shaker winning that as well, 6-5. to Face-offs may not be their strong suit, 
But for now, they are winning those totals on the power play so far. Shaker has only had one chance on the power play. And Benedictine has had two. And for defensive turnovers, Shaker has turned it over twice, Benedictine once. So Shaker back to unfortunately winning that stat as they, my goodness, last year that was a big, big issue for defensive turnovers. And they just could never seem to clear it out of their zone here. Right off the draw, Sammy Gerber and Schneider drawing up the play. Good shot by Gerber, just low percentage as he was out wide of the net. Now here's an opportunity for number 72, broken up by Richard. Off the boards, Gerber to Brokaw. Brokaw gonna get there first. Brokaw looking for a pass out front as it was Schneider, but that's just not gonna go his way. Pass to Gerber, also not going to connect. So far these passes not going the right way. So the puck will head out of play, I do believe. And that will take us to our first whistle of the period. 14 minutes, 24 left to go in this second period of action. Thank you once again for tuning in to this game. Here we are in Rocky River, Ohio. Shaker Heights so far leading this game against Benedictine two to nothing. One goal by Ryan Kilts, one goal by Ryan start off the Red Raiders scoring this season. Battle for puck control. Looks like Benedictine is going to get it themselves. Ooh, but they just can't seem to clear it out just yet. Back to Lenahan. Lenahan. Cross ice to Mayhew. Mayhew pulls the trigger. Rebound given up, but it will be the goalie number 34 covering this one up and freezing it for an ice. Now it's just under 14 minutes left to go in this second period. Face off one by Shaker, but Mayhew's pass going to be out of reach of Hunter. It's Hunter and Kalurgis, the defensive line. Kalurgis looking to more, and it's easily picked off and an easy goal for number 12. Just a big mistake there on the defensive side, and once again, it's another defensive turnover. And these defensive turnovers, once again, could be very costly for this Red Raider team. It's something that must be addressed. And there you go right now. It'll cut the deficit in half. Two to one is our score. Shaker on top. And the offensive line is going to be Salmon Kilts. And number 22. That's going to be Arth. On defense, it's Hunter. Or excuse me, it's Benincasa. And it is White. And Shaker sending it right back into their offensive zone. Trying to center it, no can do. But it is with Kilts at the moment. His offensive line struggling to keep this puck control and struggling to keep these passes connected. And it's cleared all the way down the ice by number 45 of Benedictine. It will be out of reach of anyone, and an icing will most definitely be called. Two to one is still our score. Shaker on top. 13.02 left to go in this period. Kilts once again taking the draw to the right of the goalie. It's in Red Raiders territory. Shot whiffed on by White, and now it's in White's control, but he's going to have to back this one up as the pass goes awry and out of the zone. Now here, Arth, Arth to Kilts. Kilts the shot, that goes wide. Brandon White trying to keep it into the zone. He cannot. Out it goes to Benincasa. Benincasa trying to descend along the boards once again. Can just not do so. Shaker needing to control their puck possession. And here's a shot that just is tipped in wide. Shaker clearing it out of the zone. It's Salmon. Now this looks like it's a delayed offside. 
But Shaker sends it out. Everyone touches up. It'll still be in Shaker possession, just not too much happening as we begin this period. Just a lot of puck possession change. That shot, a soft one. An easy save by Better. He'll send it away from him, and it's back with the forwards. Cross ice pass, it goes awry, and it's with Salmon. Salmon, oh, big hit laid down on him, and it looks like this very well might be a penalty. And it's in control of Benedictine, and the whistle's blown. It looks like it will indeed be a penalty. On, let's see, it looks like 17. Perhaps not 17, it's going to be number five. 17 just heading to the bench for a line change. So, the forward line is going to be Lenahan, Gerber, and Moore. Also, the forward making up the five is going to be Brokaw on defense. It's going to be Garnett. Whistle blown. It looks like we are set for the puck drop. Shaker has an opportunity to extend this once again to a two-goal lead. It's Brokaw to Gerber. Gerber, shot made, and he breaks his stick. He's going to have to go grab a new one. Lenahan sticking with it in the corner, hopping onto the ice. It's going to be Mayhew. Moore keeps it in. It's Garnett. He led the team in defensive points last year. Now it's Moore. Moore to Brokaw. Brokaw, shot. And that one will be deflected out wide. Back to Garnett. Garnett in the corner. Move just tipped out in front. Can't get a pass to go. Stick laying on the ice. He avoids it as he skates around. And from the point, he moves it up to Moore. Moore to Lenahan. Lenahan scanning his options. He looks for Brokaw. The pass just a little too elevated, and it won't work out his way. Now here, better needing to exit his crease as he was under pressure by a Benedictine bang. Moore, cross-ice pass to Lenahan. Lenahan shot, and that one just saved with a blocker. Moore. I believe that was Richard. That one going nowhere. Now here. Kept in the zone. More shot. And good save by the Bengals. Number 34 once again. And with 10-18 left to go, it remains a one-score game. 41 seconds left to go here in number five's penalty for Benedictine. Five, 41 more seconds on the power play for Shaker. Here it's going to be Kilts, number four. Get in the draw. This one wrapped around the boards, keeping it in. It's going to be Richard. Richard back to Kilts. Kilts sending it to Hunter. Hunter trying to sneak it in. He can't do just yet on the backhand. Salmon, Richard once again. Richard looking for Kilts. And the goalie looking for a desperation move. And here's a rebound. Give it up. Nothing to it. Kalurgis and Hunter, the two defensemen. Hunter in a battle for position right in front of the crease. Now five seconds left to go in the penalty. And this one looks like it's going to be cleared out as time expires, and that it does. This one cleared all the way down to the Red Raider ice, and it's going to be an icing called. 9.33 left to go in period number two. Nine minutes, 34 seconds left to go in this third period, excuse me, in this second period. Shakers struggling to keep puck possession, and here's a chance for number 12. He scored one already. Shot made! And that one's just off the post. My goodness. That was a dangerous chance for the Bengals. Pass made all the way wide. It goes. It's going to be Ben and Costa getting there first, but the icing is called regardless. This is high school hockey. So that's going to get called every time, regardless of who ends up there first. Brokaw hopping off the ice a little late. It's going to be Lenahan taking the draw. 
and he'll win it back to the Red Raider corner. It'll wrap around the boards. Moore looking for a pass up the ice. Nothing doing. It's blocked by a bangle. Now here it's a pass from McGinnis, and now it's in control of McGinnis. It's a three-on-two rush for the Red Raiders. McGinnis over to Moore. Moore shot, and it's a soft one to that. And now, ooh, rebound given up on number 34. But he'll throw the leather down onto the puck. He'll freeze it, and a faceoff will be upcoming. 842 left to go in period number two. Thank you again for tuning in to this one. Shaker on top two to one. A decent start, but right now it's really all Benedictine with the momentum. As they've been maintaining this puck control much of this second period. Here's with Richard. Oh, good save. Good extension of the pad by the goalie. He has had some good saves in this one. Now here, Gerber up the ice, looking to Brokaw. Nothing doing in the neutral zone. It's a battle for number three to keep his possession, and he will, and it'll be a dump and chase, or excuse me, a dump and a line change. Here all the way up the ice. It's with Sammy Gerber. It's a breakaway chance. What a save! What an extension of the right pad by number 34. Holy cow. Even if he's led in two goals already, give this man an honorary star. He has just been incredible so far. And what a save against Sammy Gerber, the senior, not able to bury the goal. Here it is, number six, shot made, and once again it hits off the post. My goodness, the shots are now going a little more Benedictine's way, or with that shot they are. Here it is, it's Mayhew, Mayhew up the ice, looking for a low percentage shot, it's off the iron. A lot of clinging of the post here in the second period of action. My goodness. If you like the sound of iron, you should come to this game right here as that's three now in this period off the post. Seven minutes, 10 seconds left to go here in period number two. Joey Moore with puck possession, trying to get it to Colin Arth, just not doing. Cole, or excuse me, Quentin Garnett keeps it in. These passes so far, not connecting as much as you would hope. But still, you can see the chemistry is there. Moore to Arth. Arth, or excuse me, this is Cole Richard. Arth in front of the net. And now this one finally cleared out by the Bengals. And that one will be going as an icing. Just under six and a half minutes left to go in the second period. Shaker remains up two to one. And the forward line, it looks like it'll be Ryan Kiltz. It's gonna be Oscar Schneider to his left and Aiden Salmon to his right. The two defensemen, Hunter and Kalurgis. Here goes, it's Oscar Schneider. He's gonna get puck control and he does, but it's to Kiltz, shot made. And it'll be a save once again by 34. Once again, he has had some spectacular saves. Here in this second period, just add another one. Now it goes into possession of number 47. Can Shaker get the possession back? Not just yet. Oscar Schneider heads onto the ice as he trips over. Or excuse me, it's Kiltz that trips over Schneider. Not a pretty scene exactly. There, pickpocketed by number 44 is Schneider. And Schneider needs to keep this puck possession going himself so far. And this is become a little sloppy with the puck possession so far. Now it's a penalty. It is going to be called on interference. We'll see who gets nabbed for the two-minute minor. It's going to be Ian Hunter being a little too fierce out of his injury. And that's already three penalties on the Raiders so far. It's 
So an opportunity for Benedictine to tie this one up at two apiece. But here's a short-handed opportunity for Brokaw. Can he stick with it? Here we go. Oh, good blast from right in the crease. This goalie able to stick with it, however. Number 34, great puck awareness is what we have seen so far this game. Cross ice pass, it's number 44. Not able to stick with it. Quinn Garnett clears it out with a backhand. Brokaw the lone forward chasing the puck down. Five minutes left to go in this second period of action. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a one goal game shaker on top two to one. Now here it goes to Garnett. Garnett sends it all the way out. Icing of course will not be happening as it is the Benedictine power play. And now here's a breakaway chance for number five. Can he try a shot off the backhand? He cannot, but here's a wraparound. Pass out in front. Holy cow, how did that one not get through? Two on two rush. It's Gerber and Lenahan, but Gerber trips up. Some sloppy move there. And now it's back with Lenahan trying to move it out. Here's a breakaway chance for Joey Moore. Here we go, number 24 against the goalie. He'll bury it. Number 24, Joey Moore, will get the third goal of the game. And that will extend the lead back to two. Three juniors so far are the goal scorers, as it was Ryan Kiltz the first time. It was Ryan Lenahan the second, and there you go, Joey Moore, number 24, burying goal number three. Number four of the game, but number three for the Red Raiders. So that will move us back to even strength, or excuse me, never mind. It was a penalty called on the Red Raiders just beforehand. So it's actually going to be a power play immediately on the Bengals. Here's Kaler just behind the net. He'll stick with it now around the boards. It goes to Salmon. Salmon unable to stick with it. He's under pressure by some Bengals. It'll be Kalergis's job to send it out. Kiltz looking in front of the net. Trying to get it to Salmon and it just will not connect once again. Kiltz to Salmon. Salmon the shot. Holy, another phenomenal save by 34. Now that will bring us to even strength. Ian Hunter back onto the bench. Joey Moore's goal, a short-handed one, as this one has been full of breakaways for both sides so far. Shaker able to bury theirs, but they have had more chances other than that Joey Moore goal. Here's with Richard. Richard into the corner, struggling with it. There's two men per side fighting for the possession. It's Kiltz and it's Richard. Now it'll be Salmon joining the play, and now he will be controlling this one. And they just can't keep it inside of the offensive zone. Quentin Garnett and Richard, the defenseman. And it will end up in Benedictine possession, but the Red Raiders trying to quickly clear it out. Once again, they cannot. Over by the pipe, it's going to be Michael Better using the leather to cover the puck, and that will take us to a stoppage with 2.41 left to go in period number two. It's a two-goal game. Three to one is our score. The three goals coming from those three juniors. The last one, a short-handed breakaway goal for Joey Moore here. The forward line is going to be Brokaw, Mayhew, and Gerber. The defensive line is going to be Kalurgis and Hunter. Here, a crowd of players around the net. Nothing doing so far, and this one could be a big chance for Gerber, but it's just out of reach. Now it looks like we might have another penalty. It's another interference. This one's called, who's called on this? It's number 97 once again for the interference. That's his second penalty of the day. So both Joey has two penalties, and so does this 97. Two goons on this team as we begin this one off. All jokes here as we begin our 
power play opportunity for the Red Raiders. This season should be a good one. Shaker already on top two goals and three juniors in charge of those three goals. That one goal scored by number 12 of the men in blue. Number 12 is Ryan Karras. It's the son of the coach, keep in mind. Just under two minutes left to go here in period number two. Shaker has a power play opportunity. Hopefully, going to send this one to a three-goal deficit. It's Sammy Gerber up the left side of the ice. He'll send it back to the point for Mayhew. Mayhew to Gerber. It's, Gerber can't get a stick on it. But he can still maintain control up against the boards. Back to Mayhew. Mayhew, the left-handed sophomore, to Gerber. Gerber tries a shot, and that one goes wide. And eventually it is cleared. Right there, an interesting look. It was five forwards, no defensemen whatsoever, which, especially in high school hockey, just not a typical occurrence. Granted, in professional hockey, that's not a typical occurrence either. So far, so far, the power play unit just has not connected. And now it's going to be Oscar Schneider on the faceoff. It's lost. Back it goes to the Benedictine side. And number five clears it all the way down the ice. Mayhew with it. He'll lead the rush forward. Or excuse me, looking for a cross-ice pass. But the pass comes off the skate of Schneider. Schneider and Richard. The two men in their defensive zone. Now it'll move out. Benedictine sends it right back. This power play unit just has not been it this time around. Here it's Richard once again. The freshman moving it up. And here we go. He's got a lane. Maybe he'll pull the trigger. That he does. Flash in the leather is number 34, however. And another save is made by the Tendi. 32.3 left to go in period number two. And now there we go. Power play is expired. Nothing doing for Shaker. And Michael Better is just going to get out of his crease. Freeze the puck and pat one of the Bengals on the head for his attempt to get there first. 21.1 seconds left to go in this second period. Shaker up by two. Now here it's with Sammy Gerber. Do the Red Raiders have a chance to tack on one more before the period is over? It's Lenahan. It's Brokaw and it's Gerber. Shot goes wide after it's deflected. This one should about do it as Benedictine maintains it against the boards, and that is all she wrote for the second period. So with that, we will get our ice cuts, and they will lay down a fresh seat, oof, excuse me, they will lay down a fresh sheet of ice, that is kind of difficult to say, but it'll be a 12 minute intermission, or at least that is what they say up on the scoreboard. Very well might be a little longer than that, but what is very, very important is that the Red Raiders are up by two scores. Three to one is our score. Those two goal scorers, Ryan Kiltz, Ryan Lenahan, and just recently on the shorthand breakaway goal, it was Joey Moore, number 24. And so number 12 is the lone goal scorer for Benedictine. We'll see if Shaker wants to widen that deficit or if it is going to be Benedictine. Maybe, you never know, they could tie it in that third and final period. We will see when we come back. Thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Vaughn Ullum. We will see you for the third and final period of play.
And we're back for the third period of action here in Rocky River. It's Shakerites versus the Benedict Bengals. And your Red Raiders are winning this one so far. Three to one is our deficit. Mayhew taking the draw to start the period, but it is won by the Bengals. Brokaw quickly pressuring, trying to get that puck possession right back. Here's a pass right to Connor Mayhew. Puck is still loose. And Shaker taps it in. It looks like the, as though that was Sammy Gerber. Heck, that was quick. Fourteen seconds into the period, and Colby Mayu running around with the Red Raider hockey flag. You gotta love it. The forward line is still going to be Gerber, Mayhew, and Brokaw. The defensive line for the moment is Garnett, Richard, 
That's the Red Raider five. So now 20 seconds off the clock. Excuse me. So four to one is our score. The Red Raiders winning this one by now a much more comfortable margin. But Benedictine, of course, this being high school hockey, still definitely has a chance. They are a whiff shot by Quentin Garnett. It's still the same group of five Red Raiders. Brokaw working around the point. He'll pull the trigger. Save made by the right pad. This goalie has had plenty of saves with ex the extension of the right pad. And he's just got to be praised for it. Along the boards, it's still with Brokaw. He's up against two Bengals, but somehow he still sticks with it. Now to Kalurgis it goes around the boards. It goes to Schneider. Schneider in the corner. Scanning his options, it's to Kalurgis at the point. He'll pull the trigger. Very elevated in a very rather slow shot, it felt like. That one was wide. Kalurgis with the backhand. We'll move it over to Mayhew. Mayhew looking to get it to Schneider. Mayhew still with the puck. He'll take a shot, and that one will go wide and high. Schneider to Kalurgis. Kalurgis, Hunter trying to kick it deeper into the zone, but in doing so, Benedictine's going to clear it with a pass down the ice. <laughs> and with 13.08 left to go in this third and final period of action, Shaker still leads. By three. The forward line now becomes Lenahan as the center. To his left, it's Moore. To his right, it's Schneider. The def defenders, or the, excuse me, the defensemen are still Kalurgis and Hunter. That shot, easy block save by number 34. Here it is with Moore. Moore sticking with it. Looking for the pass to Lenahan. Shot made, rebound chance, and he can't pull the trigger. And to his right, the goalie going to cover it up with the leather. And that will freeze the puck. And a faceoff is upcoming. The defensive line now is going to be Benin, Casa, and White. Those three forwards going to stick. Lenahan taking the faceoff to the right of the goalie, number 34. Puck is dropped. Lenahan will win it. Back to Joey Moore. Moore. And Lenahan, both goal scorers in this one. The other goal that has been scored by a junior was Ryan Kiltz. He had the first one of the season for the Red Raiders. Here's number three. Looking to center it. Oh, he had a wide open chance. Just couldn't bury it. Michael Better was all the way hugging the left side of the post. Nothing doing. Lenahan taken down to the ice, and that will most definitely be a tripping. And yes, sir, it is. 12 minutes, 23 seconds left to go, and Benedictine is going to the box. Some unfair conduct by number one. Thank you again very much for tuning in. My name's Vaughn Ullum. We're just getting started this season. Shaker going to play here once again tomorrow and the day after. It's a weekend tournament, except it's not exactly a tournament either. This one is called the Tim Alexander Tournament, Memorial Tournament. But it's not exactly a tournament. It's more of a round robin kind of format where the schedules already decide, and it's not a bracket of sorts either. Shot made in that one, a save. Into the corner it goes. It's still with Gerber. Gerber trying to keep it inside the blue line. He's not able to do just that. And it's Joey Moore back into the defensive zone for the Red Raiders. But he'll stick with it and keep it in. And for some reason, this, the audio started before the arena. That was quite random. But never mind that. Quentin Garnett with a shot. And that one just tipped in front and almost threw the goalie off balance. And that'll be the fifth shot of the period for Quentin Garnett, which means that's the 31st of the game. So far, Benedictine only with 10 shots this game. And zero 
in this period. That's what you like to see if you're a Red Raider fan. You're loving that stat. Benedictine sending this one all the way down the ice. And there's a shot on goal for Benedictine. Richard, cross ice, it'll go to Kalurgis. Kalurgis dumping it in off the forehand. Back to Richard. Richard wraps it around the boards. It's Kiltz. He scored the first goal of the game. Along the boards, it's a battle for puck possession, and out of the zone it goes. And here's a chance for number 12 to take over puck possession. Weissing was waved off, but number 12 just can't stick with it, and it's number 21, Jonathan Kalurgis. Back into the Red Raiders zone it goes. Just a back and forth of possession. Here it goes to Kiltz. Kiltz bumped up against the boards, and he's not able to stick with it. Now it's Aiden Salmon. And it looks as though this one's going to be offsides. Face off is going to be to the right of the goalie, but also outside of the blue line. Just about 10 minutes left to go in period number three. Shaker still up by three. Face off one by Benedictine. Benedictine winning their first face off there of the period. Ben and Costa moving it up off the backhand. He'll send it around the boards for Arth to chase. Also, there is Aiden Salmon. Now, here it is. Pass to Salmon up in front, right in front of the crease. But he couldn't get a good shot off. This pass out of reach of number, num or, excuse me, number 72. He's tripped up, no call. Normally something a referee is going to call, but nothing doing there. It's Salmon. Sticking with it, and here it goes to Arth. It's a two-on-one at the moment. Juan, ooh, the pass right to Juan, but it's out of his reach. So I suppose it wasn't right to him. Garnett loses puck possession, and now here's a rush the other way. Number 45 of Benedictine chasing it, nothing. And here it goes to Garnett. Garnett to Mayhew. Back to Garnett, back to Mayhew in the neutral zone. Now it'll be Brokaw leading the chase. Shot made just a bit too elevated over the bar and into the glass. Now battle for possession in the corner to the right of the goalie. Who will come out with it? It'll be the Bengals, and they will clear it out of the zone. But it looks as though Shaker got their first touch on it, or excuse me, got that last touch on it. So with eight and a half left to go, Shaker leading another rush. It's Mayhew. Mayhew. Poke checked away, and now he's fighting for that control once again in the corner. It was Mayhew, and it was Gerber in the corner. But it's going to be Benedictine that comes out with it. The defensive line for the moment, Kalurgis and Hunter. Now it's eight minutes to go in the third. Hunter with the backhand to Kalurgis. Kalurgis up to Brokaw. Brokaw all the way cross ice to Sammy Gerber. And, ooh, had a close chance to perhaps get a shot off, but nothing going as that one's just poked, checked away by the goalie number 34. And they clear it. And Benedictine is going to have this face off be in their own zone. 7.44 left to go in the third and final period of play. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're just getting started this season. And Shaker so far off to a good start. They're going to start off 1-0-0 if they can keep this score the way it is. But here's Benedictine. And that pass to number three. Good stick lift by Kalurgis to throw number three off guard. Here it's Moore. He has one of the four Red Raider goals. He'll take a shot, and that shot right into the legs of number 47 of Benedictine. Schneider taking a shot, that one up and into the glass as it's blocked by number 12. 
looking for the puck. He can't pull the trigger. The puck gets tangled between the legs of a bangle. And the Bengals take it the other way. Exactly seven minutes left to go in period number three. And it looks as though that one was offsides. Faceoff will be just outside the blue line. Line changes being made by only the Red Raiders. Benedictine going to stick with their squad. This offensive line is going to be Arth. It's going to be Kilt and it's going to be Salmon. On defense, it's Benincasa and White. Salmon, ooh, good pickpocket. However, the man that was pickpocket glides right into the boards, number three. But he will get up and join the play. So here we go. Kilt giving chase in the offensive zone. Now Braden White trying to keep it in. Not able to do it. Number 12, the Bengals sticking with the puck. But now he's pickpocketed. A lot of this game has been puck possession here and there. And it's really just who can hold on to the puck longest and who can make these passes connect. Here's number 12. Shot made. It's just wide. Ooh. He actually got a glove on it. That was close. Better shows some appreciation to number 12 of Benedictine. He has given his effort. All righty, here we go. 6-16 left to go in this third period. This one very much elevated and with a lucky glide of the puck, Brokaw going to center it over. Gerber almost had a chance. That would have been his second if he could have buried it, but he's still only sticking with a single goal on the day. Here it's back to Garnett. Garnett tries his luck with a shot. Here's another one. And now, bearing it in is going to be Mayhew. The only sophomore on the team able to bury it in. And he will pick up the fifth goal for the Red Raiders here today. One goal by a senior, three goals by a junior. And what, excuse me, one by a senior, three by a junior, one by a sophomore. That is what I meant to say, and excuse me. 5.51 left to go in the third period of play. Shaker has this offensive line set as Rich. Schneiberg, and excuse me, it's Juan. The defensive line for the moment is Richard. And I believe that that is Garnett. And that is the case. Here we go. It's a three on two advantage. Red Raiders. Rich. Trying to move it up to Juan. Juan to Rich. Rich looking to center it. And that going nowhere. Sending out the glove is the goalie number 34. He will cover it up for the freeze. So far, the face-off count has been 10 to 1 advantage Red Raiders in this third period, and that is beautiful. <laughs> we'll see what they can do right here. Lenahan been doing well on the face-off so far, and mark it down as the 11th face-off one here in the period. Schneider looking to try his luck, but nothing going. Not able to pull the trigger. It's Kalurgis to Lenahan. Lenahan trying his shot. It'll go wide. Poke checked away. Still in the Benedictine zone. Shaker going to keep it that way. The puck bouncing all over the place. And with now under five minutes left to go here in the third period, is going to go back to the Red Raiders zone. Kalurgis to Moore, Moore. Lenahan, Lenahan kicks it off his skates and Schneider hitting the ice, trying to extend his stick and get puck possession going his way. And that's what you gotta respect. Here's Lenahan, good pass from Joey Moore. That came out of nowhere. Good efforts by everyone involved. The offensive line, Moore, Schneider, and Lenahan. Lenahan getting his 
second goal on the day. Moore getting his second point on the day. Four minutes, 17 seconds left to go. Shaker now on top by five. We can say this one is just about wrapped up. This one offside. Shaker touches up, and Shaker's back with puck possession. It's Kilts looking to Arth. Oh, almost having a good shot off the backhand with Sam and nothing doing. Now Kilts trying his shot. That one deflected easily by a bangle. Kilts tracking down the puck. Now he's trying his luck, trying to pass over to Ben and Casa. Ben and Casa didn't poke that one away. It would have been a breakaway the other way for the Bengals. The path to Arth. He's sticking with it along the boards, sending it around the boards to Kilts. Kilts takes it in his own possession. He scored one already. And now this one sent all the way down the ice. We will get a hand raise as that one is going to be whistled for the icing. 3-13 left to go in period number three. And my goodness, Shaker having a good time as they're now up by five to start their season. That should give you some confidence. The offensive line, Juan, Rich, and Schneiber. Good poke check by Garnett. And ooh, rough hit by, ooh. They continue to lay the body into Lowell Rich. Now we'll see what penalty is going on here. It might be a holding. We'll see on who. Rich was having a rough go along the blue line. I know he's got the smaller build. That's no reason to be picking on number seven. So it'll be two minutes on the power play for Shaker. 2.50 left to go in the game. We'll see what Shaker can do. Quinton Garnett with a blast. That one off the glass. More to Brokaw, Brokaw. Garnett to Gerber. Gerber tries this shot and good shot. That one's into the back of the net. And holy cow, there you go. Goal number seven. And your Red Raiders are now up by six. It only took them 17 seconds on the power play to get that goal. And so just over two and a half left to go in this third period. This is a period to remember. Oh, looks like there's a penalty. be unsportsmanlike. Not exactly sure, however, but the Bengals right back into the box. Lowell Rich is going to be taking the face off. And he'll be winning it for his team. It's Hunter sending it in. Around the boards it goes. Not able to keep it in is Juan, and it'll go into possession of number three of Benedictine. And that shot just not going to work. Rich unable to stick with the puck, but now he'll get it back. Here's Juan looking for a shot. He's taken down to the ice, no call. And along the boards, nothing is called. Now it looks like it might be a penalty called. by the Raiders, and it is Lowell Rich. And it looked as though he like face washed him. And that's just never gonna be allowed. <laughs> Not sure why, but the clock is just ticking on down. 
I guess it's just a running clock for the rest of this one. Eighty seconds left to go here in this one. Running clock is definitely what we are going with. Four on four is what we are going with. Kalurgis to Kilts. Kilts along the boards. He's giving chase to the puck. And now here's a rush. It's still with Kilts. And now he's poke checked. Can he center it? He can to Mayhew. And oh, what a beauty. Beauty of a toe drag. And he will send it right between the pipes. And there is goal number eight. And there you go. The clock will continue to roll. 35 seconds left to go. It'll still be four on four. 20 seconds left to go. Or excuse me, now I guess it's five on four. It's stolen. It's with Arth. Arth looking for a goal. That one goes wide. And this one, this turnover, will take us to the end of regulation. Shaker takes their victory, a well-earned victory, eight to one is our final here in Rocky River. Shaker wins this one by seven against Benedictine High School. And the Bengals had a disappointing output on offense. Only one goal getting passed from Michael Better. And so that will take us to the end of this one. My name is Vaughn Ullum. I hope you enjoyed this one just as much as we did. We will see you tomorrow in Rocky River. This team, this Red Raider team, will be back playing some more hockey right here at the Hamilton Ice Arena. We'll see you then. Thank you for tuning in.